What is going on guys, it's Wolf here, welcome back to some more Blightfall. Now last time we left off was the introductory episode, you guys seem to really be enjoying the series, so I'm very excited to continue this series and see what other exciting quests we have to do. So I still don't know how or why these chickens are here, but uh, speaking of those chickens, we did have some quests that we could do. Was it the supplier? Uh, let's go to the supplier, yeah, yeah, we, we can request a mob. Now, there's a cooldown on this, resets every uh, zero days and three hours, okay. So we can get this, it has a reward that we have, and it does minus three for Mission Outlook, ooh. We are currently at 31 for Mission Outlook, so we can, uh, we can definitely lose some, we'll still be in the green. Ah, uh, the only thing is, what animal are we going to get? Are we going to get just one spawn egg, or, or what? Because if we get two of them, we'll be able to breed them, of course. But there we go, we're going to get this little animal bag, I definitely want to see what we have inside of here, so... We got a cow! Is that a cow? That's a cow, right? Common animal reward. Uh, 10% chance to get this reward. Click the close. That's a cow, right? Uh, it just says spawn. I thought it'd say spawn cow. Hey, look at that! It's, it's a cow named Spawn! Look at that! <laughs> look at that! We have a little pet cow! Uh, is this beefy resurrected? Who knows? I don't know. Anyways, we have some more missions that we have to do. Or we can do. Uh, we can claim reward. Yes, negative three for mission outlook. Don't want to do that one just yet. Uh, we still have the lock quest for the copper pickaxe, which we should definitely do. We should definitely keep digging downwards. Hopefully we can find ourselves uh, some some copper as well, you know? Because down here, we don't want to go down there anytime soon. Until we can do something about that thumbcraft slimy poo and disgustingness, we definitely don't want to go down there and, you know, getting into trouble. So I think for right now, I think I might have to resort to... Is it... Am I... I think I'm able to make a hammer, right? Like... Uh, even if it is just a flint hammer, if we can make something like a hammer, that would make mining, especially for like, you know, uh, copper, a billion times easier. So let's go upstairs. Actually, let's, let's get rid of this gravel right here. Hopefully we can get ourselves a pretty good amount of flint. Let's actually do that little torch trick. Yeah, there we go. Ho oh, ho, saving myself literally seconds. And literally half a second right there. And literally half a second right there. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to have to pick up these torches here in a second after doing these little... Oh, God, I can't do it. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. Saved myself a split second. All right. Oh, there's a little bit more right there. Ah, uh, meh. I can just break the same gravel over and over and over again. And hopefully I'll get a pretty good amount of flint. I did get some comments saying that I should do the scout missions. But as I said, it's probably going to be pretty hard for us right now especially because we have literally like nothing we're completely unprepared we don't have like any materials whatsoever let's get the regular shovel head uh put the dash light cobble let's put all that stuff up there let's keep the gravel because we're gonna need that to get ourselves some more uh is that a, yeah a wooden tool run eh meh i don't think it really it really matters so let's make ourselves the shovel there we go and where is the oh there it is right there nice so we have our stealth stone shovel we can get rid of this just slightly faster I'm not even noticing any fasterness. <laughs> it seems like it's breaking the same rate as if I broke it with a feather. Uh, it's a little bit faster. I'm not getting any flint though, so that's kind of unfortunate. All right, well, I think I'm going to go, actually, let's go to bed. We haven't gone to bed ever before. So let's go to bed real quick. And let's go to daytime. Uh, there we go, all right. And let's go down, back down into the mines and let's see if we can find ourselves some copper, so. I think I'm going to get dig for a little while, and if I find some copper, I will let you guys know immediately. So, I will see you guys here in a second. Oh my god, oh my god, we just- Our cow was just murdered by a tainted chicken? A t How- it was, it was, Whoa, 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 wait, wait a second. I saw a chicken go down into the cave a while ago. Is there a tainted chicken down here now? Apparently so, because Spawn just got murdered by one. Where is this? Oh my god, he murdered the chickens too! He murdered everything! Discovery of leather has unlocked more stuff. Oh, oh, there it is right there! Oh god, kill the chicken, chicken, kill it! Oh my god! Oh! Okay, okay. Oh, what is that thing? Can I pick that up? What in the world is that? Nasty looking thing. Whoa, whoa, I guess I picked it up right there. Oh, oh okay. Now, that's very unfortunate that literally our chicken just, just got wild and just killed everything, but... <laughs> we got ourselves some leather. I don't know if we can use it for anything, like for any missions right now, but I'm just going to put it up. Ooh, taint tendril. Ugh, what do you use that for? It's not giving me any. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, whoops. Let's see, usages. Yeah, it's not giving me any usages. Okay, whatever. Guess I'll put everything else up in there that I'm not going to be using raw chicken and whatnot. So, ah, I guess I'll just go back to looking for some good old fashioned copper. And I'll let you guys know if I find any more. Hopefully we don't get any more tainted chickens or anything. We might have to seal up that 
that cave over there to make sure no others, no other uh, mobs, including myself, can accidentally go in there and get tainted and, you know, turn into a, a spooky, spooky chicken that's all tainted and, and cursed and has a parasite inside of him or whatever that Thomcraft does, stuff does. I don't know. I don't want to know either. It's too spooky. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, I'm going to continue looking for some copper. Currently have had no luck finding it. I'm, I'm having like no luck finding any like ores. I haven't even found coal down here. The closest I've gotten to finding ores was down there in that cave. I found some, uh, you guys remember I found some coal down there. But uh, unfortunately, I'm not finding any copper or anything right here. Uh, but, uh, oh, whoa, what is that? Red grand. Oh, look at that. We got some service quartz. Oh, we got some service quartz. Don't mind if I know. All right, well, uh, I guess we're getting, <gasps> ooh, red granite iron ore. Okay, so, oh, I gotta go upstairs again and get myself another, uh, a repair -a on my flint pickaxe, but it looks like we're coming across quite a, quite a mineral deposit. We already got some service course. We're already running into some, some iron as well, so I guess I'll just, uh, continue mining and hopefully we'll find ourselves some copper. All right, guys, so I found some stuff called Prometheum. I've never seen it before. It's a greenish color. And I found some other uh, Prometheum over there somewhere. I didn't I didn't quite know if I was able to break it, but apparently it said I could break it with this uh, flint pickaxe, so that's pretty cool. All right, so let's just harvest ourselves from this uh, Prometheum. I think if we make ourselves like a Prometheum pickaxe, it's going to be able to harvest that iron that we saw a little bit earlier, and we can get ourselves an iron pickaxe, which is going to be pretty good. But uh, down here, I've been bringing this uh, tool station down here so I can repair my pick while I'm already down here without having to go all the way back up to the surface, repairing my pick, Stuff like that, and it just it just saves a little bit of extra time. So, I guess I'll just continue digging. Hopefully, I'm like I, I've been going down a little bit more and more, and I keep on seeing more ores the lower I go. So, hopefully, if I keep going down more, I can come across some copper, which we ooh, dacite coal ore. Okay, hopefully we can come across some copper, which we can use for that mission. If not, if I don't find any copper anytime soon, I guess maybe we could try and find another mission. Maybe try one of the scout ones. I don't know. I don't know if we need anything super special to do the cat the to do the scout missions without you know dying out there in the wilderness without the protection of our little biodome. But uh, I'm going to keep on mining. Ooh, oh that's just salt. Eh, meh, salt. Disgusting. <laughs> I think we're going to keep on mining, and hopefully soon we can find ourselves some copper and get that n that one mission nice and done. All right, I had no luck finding some copper down there, but I think I'm just going to head back to the surface and we can cook our stuff that we already have, the, the, the Prometheum. Okay, so I don't know if there's any way of, you know, doubling the ores in the technology that we have right now. I, I doubt that we do. I guess we're just going to have to work with what we have right now. So we're going to get 12 Prometheum ingots. Hopefully that's enough to get ourselves a Prometheum uh, pickaxe. Because I saw a significant amount of iron down there. So hopefully we can use that. And maybe with this quest, I don't think so. It, it looks like it just takes a copper pickaxe. And that's it. Uh, alien metal tech? Ooh. Oh, we'll be able to get this one done. Oh, okay. That's fantastic. So we don't need to do the, the copper one. We can do the alien metal tech with the Prometheum pickaxe. Okay. All right. Well, let's check up on the furnace. Okay, we have three, three ingots right now. I don't know if we're able to make it right now using the stuff that we have right now. I think we might need like a smeltery. I don't think we'll be able to make one. Let's see. What do we What do we make grout? Uh, grout. I think it's like sand, clay, and yeah, it's sand, clay, and gravel. We don't have any clay around here, so... We have sand down there, but we don't have any clay as far as I know. And you're gonna need to get some water to get some clay, and... Just, whew, the only place I know that has water is here, and... Yep, yep, I'm not seeing any clay. <laughs> I'm not seeing any clay there. So, I don't... Oh, man, there's like infected pigs out there. What? What? Did, did those pigs try and... Were they supposed to spawn for me, and they got spawned outside the biodome, and they got infected? Ooh! There's like trees over there. It looked like, is there a giant map? Oh my god, there is. Holy poop. That thing looks like a bird or something. Oh, oh man, this place is huge. Okay, that looks like another biodome over there. That looks like uh, another one over there, maybe. This one is where we're at. It looks like there's something right there. Maybe we're going to go scouting over there sometime soon. Hmm. I know there's another biodome. Okay, there's another biodome right there. And there's another one right there. Is there. I know there's one that's like underground. There's a meteor right there. Oh, there's one that's underwater. Is that it right there? No, that doesn't look like it. Uh, ooh, what is this? Is there a biodome over there? I think so. Wow. Man, 
there's so much stuff over I, I think, yeah, I think this is what we're seeing on the, uh, when we're looking out. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Let's check up on our Prometheum. Okay, we have eight now. I don't think we're going to be able to make that grout unless we venture out and hopefully find ourselves a pretty good amount of clay, because we're going to need it for all that grout, especially if we're going to try and make a smeltery. Because I remember I tried to make smeltery, like, so many times, and it takes so much grout and stuff like that, especially... We're not going to be able to make it off just one furnace. We're definitely going to make uh, a lot more than that, but I guess we could try and see if we're able to make it. So let's see. Let's get our stencils and stuff out. Let's see. Uh, pickaxe pattern head, tool rod pattern, and you need the little X thing, right? Uh, let's see. Pickaxe. Yeah, you need a little binding cast thing, tool binding pattern. Let's see if it's able to work with Prometheum. I've never used it before. Yeah, yeah okay. It looks like you can't. Material cost 0.5. Doesn't look like you're able to do that here, and, hmm, how would you make a Promethean pickaxe anyways? Let's see, Prome Promethean pickaxe, I guess you're going to have to make it the old-fashioned way. Oh no, look at that, you can make it out of sticks. Okay, I guess we just make it out of sticks and it'll work just fine, right? Okay, we have sticks there. Uh, where's our Promethean, is it, yeah, okay, it's still there. Uh, let's try and make the Promethean pick. Okay, wow, it works. I thought it wouldn't work there. I thought we had to do an Integrous Construct thing, but look at that. We're, there we go. Let's go to the book. Let's tell May we got it done. Claim our reward, which is just po uh, plus three for our outlook. So we broke even on the spawning cow thing, I guess. You know, uh, we could get ourselves some free, the supplier, some free bone meal, right? Uh, supplier, open that up. Uh, emergency food. Where's the bone meal at? Uh, completed. Aren't we able to get free bone? Who gives us the free bone meal? Is it the instructor? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Clean the reward. Okay, we have a little bit more bone meal. Fantastic. So we can get ourselves some more bread here. We definitely need to expand our farm. Uh, let's get the bone meal out. Let's bone meal. Uh, yeah, let's bone meal these. Yep. And it's gone. It's gone. Just like that. Just in a little bit of a snap of the fingers, all the bone meal's gone. Except for these. We have a little bit of bone meal here. Which will get us a pretty decent amount of wheat. There we go. Get it all nice and grown. I like that. The only thing is, is I, I guess these aren't dropping any seeds. So I can't just further my farm. It's just dropping wheat. And that's pretty much all it's dropping. Yeah, there we go. There's all my bone meal just straight out the window. Alright, so I guess we'll just uh, get the mortar and pestle out. Make ourselves some fancy dancy bread. And there we go. Make ourselves some flour. 31 flour with the mortar and pestle. I'll put that back in there. And I guess we just throw it inside the, uh, inside the furnace, right? And just let it cook. Let's see, do we have any coal inside of here? Yeah, we have a little bit of coal. Let's just get a... How much is in there? Like 30-something? Yeah, two of them. Yeah, should be a pretty decent start. So we're just getting some bread with the Promethean pickaxe. What was the durability on that thing? It's just plus three damage. It's not telling me the durability. I assume it's pretty good. But, uh, let's just go downstairs. Let's go get ourselves all that iron I've been seeing down there. We can make ourselves an iron pickaxe and stuff. Let's see. What else is on the quest book for the instructor? Uh, 22% completed. Sheesh. Harvesting gold, bronze pickaxe. Okay, so we're, for bronze, I think it's what? Aluminum and... Uh, what is the brown thing called? Copper? Oh, yeah, I think it's like aluminum and copper or something like that. So, it's going to be decently expensive. Here's some iron that I spotted. It looks like we're able to get it with this. So, the discovery of iron has unlocked more info in your materials book. So, that's pretty cool. We have some more. Uh, we have some aluminum down here. Currently harvestable is not checked. So, we don't want to break that. Or else we're going to get some wasted iron right there. Uh, I don't know if there was anything over here. Oh, I'm hearing a bat. I'm hearing a bat right now. Uh, let's look at it on the mini map. Uh, you can't, yeah, you can't really zoom in that well here. Can you see the underground portion? Okay, I guess you can't see the underground portion right now. Alright, well, I don't think I saw any more ores out here. There's a little bit of salt right there. I don't think I saw any more ores while venturing on the underground. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a little bit of comatite iron ore right there. I'll be taking that, don't mind if I do. So up to like, what, yep, four, four iron ore, not bad at all. Four iron ore. And, you know, that's, that's enough to make a pickaxe, no problem. I'm pretty sure we saw some iron above us a little bit, right? Yeah, like four or so iron. So I just need to go up a little bit, find out how to get out of here. <laughs> I made a complete maze over here. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know how to get out. Oh, here we go. A little bit of parkour. And right around this corner should be the... Yeah, okay, it was, okay, we're up here with this stuff. Uh, currently harvestable. Okay, I don't know what this stuff is, but I'm just going to get it because it's kind of fancy, right? So let's just get it. There we go. Uh, what is it called? Infused coleum. Ooh. Infused coleum. What is that? 
What do you use the ingots for? Uh, you just make blocks out of it and you make infused coleum dust. And that seems to be it, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. See what you do with the dust. Uh, you can make pulverized gold with some medassium. Man, I have not heard of all this stuff. <laughs> Black steel. And of course, make it into ingots again. Okay. I don't know if I'll, I don't know if this is like worth it. It might be like really, really valuable. You guys probably played this mod back and forth or have seen these ores before and you're like, oh, wow, Waffle, hey, you were so lucky you got the most rare thing in the universe right there and you don't even care. But uh, yeah, that's just how it is. I, I don't know about the, that ore and it doesn't look like it's very valuable. It just meh, meh. All right, well, let's keep going on up here because I'm pretty sure up here we found some iron. Oh yeah, here we go. A little bit of iron. This wasn't the iron I was talking about. But it's a pretty good little deposit. Uh, we're up to six, seven, eight, and there's salt right there, so I can just ignore that. I don't care. And yeah, yeah, up here is the salt, right? Or the uh, the iron. Uh, that's coal. Up here, somewhere up here is the iron. Oh yeah, right here is the iron. All right. So we're gonna get a little bit more iron right here, and we are able to make two, three, four, four, almost five iron pickaxes. We might be able to start making some uh, armor out of this stuff, you know? We'll be able to get ourselves some protection, and I don't know if we're able to like request stuff like uh, chest plates. And stuff. I doubt it. I doubt they'll let us request stuff like chest plates. But let's check up on our bread. 16 bread. That's a pretty good amount. We're not going to be worrying about food for a little while. It is nighttime, so we should probably head to bed. I don't know why there's like sound lag whenever I'm eating bread. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's just something I noticed while off camera. But uh, let's just keep on eating until we're nice and fed all the way up, full hunger and everything. Let's grab one piece of uh, coal real quick, actually. Let's grab a couple. And, uh, oh, wow, it's still uh, able to cook some bread. Eh, I don't want to cook bread right now. Let's put some coal up there. Let's get that iron ore. So, 14. Yeah, we should get eight out of that one piece of coal. So, let's put the flour back up inside there. Man, our inventory is completely full of stuff. Man. Let's eat some more bread. Delicious bread. Delicious carbohydrates. And, of course, delicious gluten. <laughs> All right. So we're almost full health, or full hunger. We are full health. But, uh, man, why is it so slow? Why why am I eating so slow? I don't know why. All right, well-fed thing keeps on going up, so I guess that's good. Let's put the cobblestone, put everything up that we don't need. We have some cooked chicken still. I, I broke this stuff called air shards. I don't know what it's for. I don't know what you use it for. Ooh, thermometer. Ooh. I don't know what that's for either, but it looks fancy. Uh, I've never, as I said before, I, oh, shaped a work table. Primal Charm, Fire Shot, ooh! Looks like you just gather like different like elements and stuff and you combine them together, make some sort of fancy dancy thing. Ooh hoo 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 hoo! Alright, well, looks like we're gonna to need to make another chest here in a bit. We're gonna to have to bone meal some more saplings, stuff like that. So, I think I'm just gonna to go to bed real quick. Ah, it's been quite a hard day down there in the mines. And uh, in the morning, yep, there you go. In the morning, we can request some more bone meal. Bone meal on crack. Actually, you know what? Let's save that. Let's save that for our saplings. Do we still have some saplings right now? I know you guys in the comments of the first episode were like, hey, you should you should definitely keep on requesting saplings. You should plant down the almond sapling thing, get yourself like an almond tree or whatever, and uh, hopefully you'll get some almonds. But I also got a comment saying that I should see if I can get a, uh, like a blood tree. You know, the, the trees that grow in the nether, I think. Was it called like blood something tree? I know it's something like that. But uh, we got a little bit more wood, so we should be able to make a chest, no problem. Let's just bone meal the tree. Don't take it. God, it took it all. It took all the bone meal. Jeez, greedy. Huh. <sighs> but uh, let's see, how much is it to request another sapling? Uh, supplier, open that up. Request, oh, that's starting sapling. Request a sapling. It's going to give us a little, hmm, recess in four hours, cooldown on completion. Ah, uh, you know what, claim reward. That's negative three. We're at 31 right now. <sighs> You know, let's claim the reward. Hopefully it's not another almond thing that we have right now. What do we have? Yeah, almond sapling from Pam's Harvest Craft. As I said in the end of her, uh, in Jurassic Craft, I've like never really like messed with Pam's Harvest Craft. So, uh, you know, it's, it probably has a lot of good stuff inside of it if I delve deep inside of it. But uh, I've never really done that. Let's see what's inside of the sapling bag. <laughs> Slimy sapling. Pure, un <laughs> pure unadulterated garbage. The only thing that's good out of this, I guess, is that we're going to get the little slimy, uh slime blocks that forms the trunk of the tree and uh, we can use that to get the slime balls and stuff so I guess that's kind of good I guess but I don't think it's worth the negative three uh, mission whatever's that I took right there request seeds ah uh, negative two on this one though I kind of want to do it let's see what do we just get right there 
uh, turnip seed. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's good or not, but we're at 4.4% rarity or whatever. Uh, armor. Whoa, what is that? What? I, what? Oh, I can get bone meal out of that? Okay. So we have a turnip seed. I, I don't know. <laughs> so all I have to say is I don't know. Uh, didn't. Oh yeah, we already got the bone meal for today, so we can't do that. Let's check up on the book. Is there anything else in here that we we can do? We can request another mob. What's that called? Ooh yeah. Negative. If that was negative two, I definitely get that. You know, requires one one quest to complete uh, to be completed elsewhere. Let's check up on, on the geologist. What does he want us to do? Discover Prometheum. Yeah, we got that one. Discover that one. Yeah, we don't have that stone samples. Uh, I guess we have to get an. Um, sample metamorphic rock, sedimentary, mass stone, sample lead, tin, igneous rocks, and oroclaus? Is that? Okay, we have platinum and copper. Okay, copper is like all the way up there. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to say that copper is pretty rare. So making that copper pick was probably best to make that uh, whatever that is down there, Promethium pick. Let's check up on the scout one. What does he want? To oh yeah, look at that. We got the uh, register as team alpha. I guess we got the that thing, right? Visited new... Welcome to Chief Alpha. You have automatically been registered. Nice. Claim reward? I guess claim reward. <laughs> I didn't do anything, but whatever. Learn to scout. So what do we do here? Ooh, please travel to the following location. At 859, 66, and 942. So, 859, 66, 942. Let's set a waypoint on the minimap. Actually, 859, 59... Something, something, 942. Was that it? 942... My memory's not the best when it comes to- Oh, whoa, that's Y-axis. Uh, let's just set that to 75. 952... Is that it? Waypoint name... Scout mission... Alright, let's check it again. 859, 942. Okay, and 66. So it's- How many blocks? 18 meters away? Really? That's nothing! Do I have to go, like, right there? I, I guess I have to, like, start out by just leaving the biodome. I don't know how I'm going to do that safely. Maybe I can make a door? I don't know if a door would, like... I don't know if there's, like, toxins out there that I should avoid or something. What if I had boots on? If I had boots, would that protect me from the Thomcraft stuff? That's what I want to know. So, 859, 942. Let's edit that. Edit 859, 942. And then 66 for the Y-axis. So, let's see. Where do we have to go? We have to go over here. And then down. Okay, so here we go. Is this it? D uh, did I do it? Uh, consume task. Visited. Okay. So, did we do it right? Uh, unlocks one. Consume task. Manual submit. Uh, I guess just get the piece of dirt that's like right here and tell him, hey, here's the dirt that was like right there. Uh, there we go. Quest book. Manual submit. Okay. Claim reward. Plus one. All right. What do you know? So, now we have to travel to a swamp. Oh, <laughs> 592 and 1000. Okay, so let's set a waypoint there. Five. Actually, you know what? Let's use the same, uh, Let's use the same waypoint, just so we don't have a million waypoints. Scout mission, uh, what was it, 592? 592, and Z was like 1,000 or something, right? So, 6, I don't know, let's set that to 65, this seems like a regular thing, right? Uh, 63, 1,000, 592, oh, I think I got that right, right? 200 something block, oh, it's all the way over there, ooh. We may have to do that here in an upcoming episode, but for right now, I think that's going to be it for episode two. We got a decent amount of stuff done. We got to upgrade on our tools. We got our farm up and running. We got a cow and it tragically got murdered by an infected chicken and some other cool little adventure stuff. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys here next time on Blightfall, where we are most likely going to be scouting out to that swamp over there, seeing, seeing what other missions we can do for the scout and all that stuff. Maybe even make some armor out of all the iron that we have. Maybe make uh, iron boots. Maybe that's going to protect us from the Thomcraft stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But I guess we're going to have to wait to find out. So thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.